Here is 512, and in 512, what we're looking for is the voltage ratio. So we're trying to find V naught divided by Vs. That's what we're looking for. So what is this? So assume the op amp is ideal. It's an ideal op amp. And by taking a look, we see that the ground here, that is zero volts. And let's take a look at the current here. We can call this I, uh, I1 maybe. We can call that I1. Remember that that is equal to zero. This is zero. So this, this is also equal to zero. Okay. So that means that this point up here, if the current is equal to zero, this must also be zero volts right here. That's zero volts. And we will call, um, so since that is zero volts, we know that this voltage is equal to this voltage for an ideal. So this one over here, that is zero volts right here because these two are equal. These two are equal. Let's keep going. So if we go ahead and write the current, we'll call this current I naught. And I naught here is also I naught over here. So these two currents that goes through this resistor is they're equal. So this this current here using KCL KCL um, and Ohm's law we have Vs here minus zero volts over the resistance five kilo ohms. That is this current, which is then equal to this current, which is zero volts right here, minus V out, or V naught, divided by 25 kilo ohms. Okay. So if we simplify this, let's move this over to that side and this, uh, let's move this over to this side. So we'll move 25 over to this side and that is 5VS is equal to negative V out. And if what we're looking for here, so we'll move VS over to this side and then put the negative sign on the other side. So we'll move the negative sign. So what we end up getting is negative five is equal to V naught, or negative five Vs is equal to negative, is equal to V naught, okay. All right, and then moving that over to the other side, We have V naught over Vs is equal to negative five. And that is our solution for this problem. So that means if we put in here one volt into here, this is going to equal negative five volts. Okay, so this is the relationship here, the ratio.